Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University, and today we're going to be talking about smart contracts. And specifically, we're going to be talking about how you can get your smart contracts off of your local machine and deploy them to uh, an Ethereum blockchain. And we'll be using the smart contract from my tutorial where I show you how to build a full decentralized application from the ground up, step by step. So if you haven't seen that already, be sure to check that out. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos on how you can build decentralized applications on the Ethereum network. All right, so let's jump in. Like I said, we'll be using the election contract from the tutorial. This is uh, the election contract where we allow uh, addresses or users connected to the network to vote for candidates in an election. And there are a few ways that we can deploy this contract. And I'm going to show you one way today, and this will kind of be the easy way. And I'll make another video about how you can uh, deploy this another way using a uh, local development environment. But today we're going to be using Remix. So I have another video about smart contracts where I introduce you to Remix. So Remix is a browser-based IDE. And essentially this is uh, you know, an environment where you can develop your smart contracts and test them and debug them without having to install a bunch of tools locally, which is pretty nice. And it also allows you to uh, run your smart contract in a variety of environments. Um, you can just use a, uh, a virtual JavaScript environment like we did locally with our uh, decentralized application tutorial with Ganache and the Truffle console. Remix has a similar capability where you can uh, just choose a JavaScript runtime environment to run your smart contracts. And if you use something like this, you know, you'll get a bunch of accounts for free, just like we uh, have when we used Ganache and the other tutorial. So in addition to a JavaScript runtime environment, we can also select uh, an injected Web3 instance or our own Web3 provider. And this will allow us to deploy our contracts to uh, an external blockchain. So in this case, we're going to be deploying to the Ropsten test network. Now the Robson test network is one of a few different test networks on the Ethereum blockchain. You can see that we have you know, the main Ethereum network, the Robson test network, and the two that I use the most are Robson and the Rinkeby test network. So we'll be deploying a Robson. The good news about a test network like Robson is that you don't have to pay any uh, real ether in order to interact with the smart contracts on the blockchain. Um, it's all fake ether, so that's really nice. It allows you to uh, deploy your smart contracts without having to worry about uh, you know, spending any kind of real money. Um, now also, a, a note on why you would want to do this. So uh, yeah, it's great to get your smart contracts off your machine, but one of the main reasons is you want to run your uh, smart contracts in a variety of, of environments to ensure that they're bug-free before you deploy them to the main Ethereum network. Now, in our other tutorial, we use something like Ganache, or if you come from uh, uh, another background before Ganache with something like TestRPC, um, these are you know, in-memory blockchains, uh, and they behave a little bit differently than a real uh, Ethereum node. So if you use something like Geth, Geth is uh, a full-blown Ethereum node that would behave um, just like you know, an Ethereum node that was connected to the mainnet. And I'm actually going to show you how to use Geth in the next tutorial. But today we're going to focus on this right here. So if you haven't already, go ahead and grab the uh, code from the other tutorial. And if you haven't done the other tutorial yet, but you still want to follow along, you can uh, grab the source code for this contract on DAP University GitHub page. So just uh, github.com forward slash DAP University, and you can find the election repository. So just grab the source code, copy that and we'll paste that into Remix. You might have to create a new file if you haven't yet. So once you got the contract code in here, um, we can uh, select the environment that we want to deploy with, or the, you know, the method for deploying. Uh, we'll do the Web3. Now, in order to deploy, we're gonna need a couple of things. We need uh, an account, and we need some ether on the Robston test network. Now we need these things because Anytime we deploy to the blockchain, we are creating a transaction. And anytime we create a transaction, we are writing data to the Ethereum blockchain. And 
anytime we do that, it costs Ethereum, it costs Ether uh, in the form of gas. That's because anytime we write information to the blockchain, uh, it costs, but anytime you read from the blockchain, it is free. And uh, yeah, I've got some more videos about gas and, and why you have to pay to use the Ethereum network, so you can check those out. But for now, just know that we need an account and we need to fund it with some Ether on the network. So to get an account, you will also need uh, something like MetaMask. Now MetaMask is an extension that turns your web browser into a blockchain browser. Now you could certainly use something like Mist Browser, um, but I'm gonna use MetaMask in this tutorial because I like using Google Chrome and I think this is a good plugin. So if you don't have an account yet, you know, you could always just create a new account, but I'm going to use this one here. I've just created a new one called Robston2. We will copy the address to clipboard. And MetaMask actually has uh, something called a faucet provided for us where we can you know, request uh, Ether into our account on the test network. Now you could um, use something like Mist, which is a, you know their blockchain browser, and use your account and start mining Ethereum on the Robston test network. But instead, we're just going to request some for free. So MetaMask has uh, something called a faucet, which is just a smart contract that um, will uh, dispense Ether if you request it. So this has a balance of quite a lot. And you can see that uh, this is our account that we're connected with. We can verify that. This is the same address here. All right, so actually what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go up here to the faucet. So this is our user account, this is the faucet. I'm going to just uh, request one ether from faucet. And once you have requested the ether from the faucet, you should see a transaction come down here. And we can actually click on that and we can see uh, this transaction come up on uh, etherscan. So this is the Robston subdomain of etherscan. And this might take a second, so I'll cut the video until it's finished. All right, so that's succeeded. And once we can see that this uh, transaction is finished, we can go back to MetaMask and see that our account now has one Ether. All right, so now that we have an account connected to the Robson Test Network and we have uh, some Ethereum or Ether, we can go back to our uh, IDE in, in web, in, sorry, in Remix, and we can see uh, that we have an account listed here with a balance of one ether. And now that we actually have some ether, we can create a transaction by deploying to the blockchain. So here's our contract, let's click create. You can see a MetaMask confirmation pop up. You can see that it wants to create a new contract. So we will submit. And we can see the status is pending. All right, so that finished. Um, that probably took a second for you, it did for me, so I, I cut the video so that you all didn't have to sit there and wait. But um, yeah, so our, our, our uh, contract was deployed and a tr transaction was created. We can see the details here. One transaction was succeeded. This is the gas, transaction cost, hash. This is the uh, bytecode representation of our uh, contract. Now we can copy the uh, address here with this little icon and we can go to uh, etherscan now, like i said etherscan is a blockchain explorer which allows us to inspect transactions and accounts and you know smart contracts anything with an address like that so we can paste the address and we can search for that all right we can see that this is a contract you can see this transaction contract creation and it has the transaction hash and the block that was mined and the account that sent the smart contract. And we can see the contract code here. This is just the, uh, uh, the bytecode representation. It's not actually the source code. And we can take a look. This is the same sort of readout that we saw in Remix. All right, so going back to Remix. We can confirm that our um, contract has been deployed to the test network by looking at um, you know, the transaction and looking at the information on Etherscan. 
But uh, now that it's there, we can actually interact with it. So we have an account and we have uh, access to our functions here. So we could, you know, call the uh, candidates function. We could pass in the candidate ID and click that. We can see that this is the first candidate. We can see the second candidate. Click that. All right, candidate two. Now we can also uh, cast a vote. We can, um, you know, pass in the candidate that we want to send a vote for. Let's just vote for candidate one. And when we do that, we will click vote. Let's actually close this first. MetaMask will ask us if we want to send this transaction. Let's click Submit. It's going to say Pending while this transaction goes through, and you'll have to wait for a second. All right, so that went through. Let's just see here. Let's see the details. The transaction was successful. All right, so we can go back to uh, our EtherScan and see the contract information. Let's refresh the page. We can see the transactions that were actually created here. Transaction hash. This was our uh, vote that went through. We can see that here. So yeah, this is all information that confirms that our contract is deployed to the Robson Test Network, and this is all the activity that the uh, contract is seen. Now, you should notice that we don't see any um, transactions when we, you know, just got the list of candidates. That's because, you know, reading information from our contract won't actually trigger a transaction. It doesn't cost anything to do that. Um, but we just see transactions for the deployment of the contract and the vote function. All right, so that's it. That's a fast and easy way to deploy a smart contract to a, uh, you know, Ethereum blockchain, the, you know, Robston test network. Now, there's, uh, you know, several other ways you could do this. Um, another way that I like to do it is using a local development environment where I can uh, hook into my suite of development tools that I use to build my decentralized applications and smart contracts like uh, the Truffle framework. Um, I like to just be able to do everything from the command line and um, it just feels really comfortable and at home and I don't have to, you know, copy and paste things and across different places. Um, so I, I can show you that. That will be in the next video. Yeah, that next video will be kind of how to do that and get away from like a browser-based tool like Remix. It's very good. It has its place, but I like something a little more robust. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in the next video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can see that when it comes out. And until then, thanks for watching Dab University.